Yo, what's up guys? Talkleman here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this vampire fruit and the full showcase. But before we get into the video guys, if you guys didn't see my channel and want to see more content, guides, showcases about the game, you guys already know what to do. Subscribe guys and turn on that bell. And if you guys haven't joined the Discord yet, join it. We do a lot of giveaways in there. There is literally a giveaway event in my Discord right now. I'm giving away over 5,000 Robux. So yeah, if you guys want to win some Robux, go join the Discord. The Discord's in the description and comments below. And guys, the trailer for my game Anime Spirits is now out. Go check it out, guys. There's some pretty cool stuff in it. And it's going to be releasing pretty soon. So yeah, if you want to see more info about my game, go check out the trailer. I'll put the link of the trailer in the description and comments below. And for those who see it till the end, y'all have a chance of winning something. So only those who know about it are able to win it. But other than that, guys, let's get straight into this video. So okay, first, we're going to be showcasing the vampire fruit. So you guys can see how strong it is, if it's good for grinding, and if it's just overall worth it. Then after that, of course, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can unlock the vampire fruit. And yeah guys, so uh, first, let's go upgrade our vampire fruit through the blacksmith. It is really weak right now, so let's go do that. All right guys, right now at the blacksmith, let's go do this, vampire fruit. All right, let's see. All right, another upgrade. I think that was a fail. Another fail, upgrade, upgrade. Another upgrade, last one. Ah, fail guys. Let's go get some gems. All right guys, we're gonna have max gems. Let's go do this. All right, a fail, a fail. Maxed out. Look at that guys. Crazy. All right, and since we're already at blacksmith guys, we're gonna be testing out the damage over here on this training dummy. But first, let me show you its skills. It's passives, I mean. So check this out. You have dashes. You guys see this? That's pretty sick. And then you also have a double jump too. Like these, it has these like cool effects on it, as you can see. Pretty different. And uh, yeah, let's go showcase this. So here's the vampire fruit, guys. You have about one, two, three, four, five, six, six skills. And just wait till we get to the modes. There's like two modes. So we're just going to be showcasing this with every buff on. As you can see, we got that King of the Beast title, that fruit buff, all these fruit accessories right here. And let me show you guys my stats. As you can see, max stats, 9,400 and everything. And yeah, guys, let's go put on all these modes. And let's see how strong this vampire fruit is. So, okay, Limitless. Too long mode. Armament Hockey. And the Hawkeyes. And all right, guys, let's go see how strong this thing is. So the Q move, it does about 455,000. The E, it does about 997 million. The R, it does about 201 million. Oh, 361 million. And the F, a billion five hundred twenty-two million. And now let's go hybrid, guys. All right, let's see. Q move, and now does 551 million. The E, a billion, 196 million. And then the R move, Bloodshed, it does about 650 million. Or it could be like 800 million if you add that 200 to it. The F move, World of Darkness, a billion eight hundred twenty-six million. That's a lot of damage, guys. Now let's go Vampire Full. All right, look at that. They have even more skills now. So the slashes, they do about one hundred eighty-four million. The Q move, five hundred ninety-seven million. The E, a billion one hundred. A billion, like a billion two hundred million, and the R move that was almost a billion. Then the F that was like almost two billion, and the G let's see a billion five hundred million. That is a lot of damage, and yeah, guys, that is the full vampire. Uh, fruit damage showcase 
It's really strong. And now let's go see if it's good for grinding. We're gonna testing out the cooldowns and it's AoE. And for that, we're gonna be going to Udon Prison and Second C. So let's go ahead there. And all right, let's go to Second C. And all right, guys, we're at Second C now. Let's go to Udon Prison. All right, so set our spawn point. And uh, let's go to set the cooldowns for it. So we're gonna be going full form because this is the one with the most moves. And we're gonna be testing all the cooldowns here. So the M1s, of course, is like a second. And then the Q move, it's about, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six seconds. The E move, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six seconds. The R, bloodshed, one, two, three, four, Four seconds, that's pretty OP. And then the F, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seconds. The G move, the last ability, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seconds. And the modes don't really matter because you're just turning on your mode and you're turning it off, so. So yeah, the ability cooldowns, they're not bad. One is like four seconds and others are like seven to six seconds. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty balanced. But now guys, we gotta go test out the AOE. Let's see. And this is how we test it. You guys see that tree right here and the tree behind it? If it hits everyone around the first area of the first tree, that's decent AOE. If it kills people like in front of that second tree in here, that is really good AOE. And if it's past that second tree, that is some crazy AOE, guys. So let's go do this. So that one's, of course, they don't head far, as you can see. But the Q move... That... that was alright. There's still some NPCs right here. And alright, the E moves AOE, let's see. Okay, that one... that was a bit better, but there's still some NPCs. So that was still decent. And then that for the R move, the bloodshed, this has to have huge AOE, let's see. Cause look at this. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty bad. Look at that. That didn't even kill everyone. Now for the F move, World of Darkness, let's see. Okay, that was actually pretty good, look at that. But there's still NPCs right there, so. I just have to say this is decent. And now for the G move, the last one, come on. Yeah, AoE sucks, guys. Look at that. Yeah, the AoE sucks for uh, vampire food, so kind of a downside for it for grinding. And yeah, that is the cooldown and AoE showcase. And now, for those who want to look at these skills. So here's how the M1s look like up close. So you can see. You got that walking animation, running. And here's a Q move. Manslayer. But then here's the E move. And then the R move just not only aims right in front of you. As you can see. And the F. And then the G move. And yeah, that is a full quick look showcase. And yeah guys, now that you have seen the full showcase, now I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get this vampire fruit. So in order to get this vampire fruit guys, first let's go ahead back to first C. And alright guys, once you guys are at first C, you want to go ahead to the Draculus Domain. And alright, once you guys are at this island, you want to go to this big castle right here. Because next to the castle are these two NPCs right here. You want to go talk to the purple one, the vampire teacher, and he will say you will need to have the Blood Scorch title. This title right here, it's red, so it's a pretty rare title. You're going to need that. And you're also going to need the Vampire Spear from the Dracula raid, this raid right here. And he needs to defeat some Dracula minions. Vampire NPC is about 200 of them. And once you have all that, you talk to this teacher and you get that vampire fruit. So yeah, these are all the steps to get the vampire fruit. I don't think you could roll for it. 
maybe you can but it doesn't really make sense since you can get it through this way and yeah guys that's how you get the vampire fruit and yeah that is pretty much the full video right there guys now let me tell you guys my thoughts about this fruit so okay first off it's really strong second it's grinding is decent it's really not the best cooldowns is good but the aoe that's a big downside to it so out of 10 i would give this like a six out of ten yeah if you're looking for a grinding fruit this is not it if you're looking for like a raid you know like the peak of dungeons and stuff this is totally worth it for that since it's really strong and also it has some good passives you got that dash and you got that jumping it's a decent fruit in my opinion i'd rather go for like the sing fruit or gear five since you have that mobility and stuff but yeah y'all let me know what you guys think about the fruit though and now for the giveaway guys i'm going to be giving away two vampire fruits yeah two of you guys have a chance of winning a vampire fruit i'll be giving one away in my discord and one in the video right here so for the discord one all you gotta do go to the description and comments click on the discord link join it and you guys to the giveaway going on and you give a channel and for the video just comment down hashtag vampire and i'll pick a comment to subscribe and has that said and yeah do both if you want to have a higher chance of winning and good luck to everyone but other than that guys hope you guys have a good day enjoy the update and i'll see you guys in the next one peace